Hi guys. Well, a few of you have been asking me about how I do my diesel heater in my van here. Um, how I fill the fuel of it, at least, uh, without spilling or... Some people have their tank on the outside of the vehicle. I have mine on the inside and it's right behind the driver's seat. Uh, it's not even fastened on anything. It's just wedged in between the bed and the, the, the driver's seat. But uh, let me just show you what we've got here. Okay. So what I have is a jerry can here, and it is like, usually I have it full of diesel. And I also fill up my tank, which is wedged right in here behind the seat uh, and the bed there. Um, I have that full also, so usually I have 20 liters on hand. But I'm going out to get some more diesel today. But this one here has got about oh, a quarter of it left down the bottom there. So I'll just show you how I fill mine. And uh, the tank is not fastened on anything, so it, but it's wedged in there pretty good. Okay. Now what I do is usually take the jerry can, take my lid off, just takes two hands usually, just to get it started because of the way it's made there. There, and the yellow tube that goes inside, I don't, uh, where is that? It's down here. I don't put it in there because then it'll have fuel on it and I don't use it to pour you'll see that I don't use this to pour the fuel either. So no sense keeping it in there and just have fuel on it when I want to take it in and out all the time. So what I do have and what I do use is this uh, pump. It's just got, let me just see if I can focus in on this thing here. It's got the, your end. On there that goes that turns sucks up the fuel through the hose and into the and it's got two uh, D cell batteries in here what's nice is the black thing goes right inside uh, right inside of the uh, jerry can so let me get two hands to get this hose ready and set up for you and I'll come back Okay, so what I did was just unhook the hose here and I usually hold it with that with one hand and then hold the handle of the uh, of the pump with the other. So let me get back at you here. Okay, let me just show you the pump here and the hose and how this all works. I don't know if we can get it on camera really well. Now, I just put the end of the hose in the tank. There's a button right on top. And there she goes. I don't have, the uh, jerry can's not full. So I'll just put what I can in there. No spilling whatsoever. Still going strong. I must have had more in there than I figured. It's just about full here. There it's... There. Now what I usually do is take a rag, put it over the end, and it drips. Put my hose straight up so that the residue goes back inside and down the tube, or down the uh, motor there. Okay, hook the tube back on. And then pull the end out of the, out of the jerry can. 
there it is. We're all done. It didn't spill a drop. And it's, oh, just, it's pretty full now. Just maybe more than three quarters full. So, now what I do is wipe any residue of diesel fuel off, if there is any, off the pump. Like so. And then I do have a box for the pump here. Let me show you this. Okay. And I do have a, a box for the pump here. I put it back in there. This one came from uh, Canadian Tire. It cost me like 12 bucks. 5.68 liters per minute. Works great. Don't get no spillage whatsoever. My tank is full and I can put the lid back on. And then my bed down. Okay, that's it guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that method of filling your diesel tank inside your vehicle. Some people have it, the tank right near the, the door, so when they open the door, they can just grab the pump and the pump handle and fill the fuel right there. That's, that, that's good, but it, it seems a little bit more dangerous than this. Uh, anyways, this is how I do it, and there's no spillage whatsoever. Thanks, guys, for watching, eh?